Let's try to find the total distance traveled between t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 4. So let's look at the displacement when t is equal to 0. So when t is equal to 0, the displacement s is going to be equal to 0, 0, 0. So the displacement is 0. So let's say the dot starts from this point when t is equal to 0. Then we will try to work on another point, that is when t is equal to, we are trying to look at from t is equal to 0 to 4. And between this 0 to 4, there are two instantaneous rests. So the next logical point that we want to work on is when t is equal to 1, when it first comes to an instantaneous rest. So the displacement is going to be equal to 1 to the power of 3 minus 6 times 1 square plus 9 times 1. And this is equal to Four. So from here, we will travel to here, let's say, and this is when t is equal to 1. Then we will look at another point, and that is when the dot comes to instantaneous rest the second time. So that is when t is equal to 3. The displacement will be 3 to the power of 3 minus 6, 3 square plus 9 times of 3. So the displacement, if I were to calculate this, this is 0, which means that at t is equal to 1, where it is going to make a U-turn, it's going to come back to here, when t is equal to 3. And finally, during the time when t is equal to 4, let's calculate the displacement again. This will be 4 to the power of 3 minus 6 times 4 square plus 9 times 4. And this will work out to be 4, which means that from here, the particle, the dot will turn again and finally reach here. This is when t is equal to 4. So the distance from here to here is 4. Here to here is also 4. And here to here, it is also 4. Okay, so the total distance that we are working on is going to be 4, 4, 4, 3 times. So it is going to be 4 times of 3, the total distance is 12.